What's up, Holly Wire? I'm Thomas Day, and get to know me with 10 questions. Do you have any pre-show rituals? Yeah, I listen to, um, I'll listen to like a very somber song. One I was listening to my show yesterday before was uh, Too Much by Justin Bieber on his Justice album song. So good, dude. What are some of your goals for the future? I wanna have one song that really, really connects with somebody and then just a lot of people. I, I, I'm really looking for like a big, big song that helps people, like a helping song. I think I'm getting closer and closer and I can't wait to, I can't wait to, I, I can't wait to figure out which one it's going to be because that's just going to be a crazy time and I'm just so, so excited. If you weren't a musician, what career path do you think you would have pursued? I definitely would have played college football. I had um, some D1 offers and some walk-on offers and that was a very, very crazy time of my life. Or if it wasn't being an artist, I'd do songwriting. If you could have any animal as a pet, what would it be? As long as it wouldn't eat me like a huge grizzly bear. Yeah, that'd be crazy, dude. Like on a leash or like not even on a leash, just like walking with you or or like a like a really sick tiger. Imagine having like a tri like a like a tribe of elephants, bro. And like you lift up your garage and it's like 15 elephants and you're like, go. <laughs> Who is someone you look up to and why? Um, probably say. Phineas, I think the way that he has um, his catalog of music and his production, I, I love to produce music. I think he's changed music for our generation and he's going to for generations to come. What is a place you've always wanted to visit? I've never been to Europe yet and I'm actually, I'm going to Europe for my second half of tour in February, which is just gonna be crazy. If you could collaborate with any artist dead or alive, who would it be and why? I'd like to write a song with John Lennon and just see his mind and like where he went with songs because I've definitely taken a big influence on the stuff that he's written. I think writing with him would be surreal and also his stories would probably be very interesting. Favorite lyric off your album, Love Me For Another Day. I would say, I wish there was room for us in the space between heaven and hell. That lyric is really crazy. It's on the song, You Don't Belong To Me. And that song is also just nuts in general and has a lot of energy. I love that one a lot. Uh, what is something you're currently obsessed with? Honestly, performing. I feel like right now, because I'm on tour probably performing, but other than music and like the cliche answer that I just gave you, probably, honestly, yeah, I was gonna say Breaking Bad or cooking. What is the funniest joke you know? This would be the last question, bro. I have like an, <laughs> it's not a joke. But like, if you want to view it like, oh, that's a joke. I have like an alter ego and this, this music will never be released. And it's like a hard drill rapper that I also do on my free time. Like that's a joke, bro. but it's Loki's sake. I'm not gonna lie, his name's Gary Farms. <laughs> that's it, bro. Thank you so much, Hollywire. I'm Thomas Day.